In this video, we will connect to Docker uh, container of SQL Server with our Spring Boot application. So for that, I have created one sample Spring Boot application and added the following dependencies like Spring Data GPS, Spring, Star Spring Boot Starter Web and MS SQL, uh, SQL JDBC. So these are the three main dependencies which are required. Uh, and for connecting uh, to the database, we need some uh, URL and password related stuff and I have used it here so like spring data source URL username password driver class name and dialect so these are the properties I will paste it in description section so it will help you to, to directly copy paste so I am using the localhost and the docker is uh, docker container of SQL server is running on port 1433 and database that I am using is master and the username is SA and password is strong password and uh, driver class name is uh, SQL uh, server driver uh, if you are using SQL server 2017 or 2019 you can use to, uh, 2012 dialect and when you start this application directly without having these two properties type, that is encrypt true and trust server certificate uh, there is a high chance that you will see one uh, issue uh, that is uh, related to some uh, certificate so in order to avoid this certificate and bypass this uh, um, certificate validation you can use trust uh, server certificate is equal to 2 what it will does is it basically uh, it will it basically skip your uh, certificate uh, verification so that you will not get any uh, certificate related issues okay but in production environment, uh, you should basically uh, validate your, uh, make it as false so that it enforces to validate the certificate. So yeah, that's it. And I have created simple uh, Spring Boot mapping, uh, controller mapping and model class with sample employee uh, here uh, with this entity table and uh, generation type sequence and all. So to end all and uh, the sample service layer implementation layer and the repo layer having save method so it will simply save your um, entity so that's it in next video uh, we'll create a docker uh, image of this spring boot application and we'll run through container thank you